with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back. We kind of wrap up the review of my winter outlook. Here has been the last 13 years I've kept track of how I've done. You can see the records here. And this year ended up at 70%. Not real happy about that. That ties from my lowest at 70%, but that kind of gives you an idea. Over the last 13 years, I hold myself accountable. And when you average that out, here's the 13-year average, 81.2% on the winter outlook. And we always do a review after we do the, uh, the winter outlook. So there's kind of an idea for you. One thing I talked about, though, was how it would be more of a typical winter around this area. And look at this. The winter was the cold coldest we'd had in four years, the snowiest we'd had in four years, the biggest single snowstorm we'd had in four years, and the coldest wind chills in five years. So you get the idea. It was more of a typical winter, not like the last three. We had more snow and cold and wind chills than we had seen in the uh, winters prior. So it was a little bit different. And another thing we talked about was how this would be a, a much sooner start to spring than the last year. And look at March. Right now we're about a half a degree cooler than normal, but after the first week it was almost 13 degrees colder than normal. So we've Definitely seen a change there. And just to put it in perspective, last year in March, we had one day when we got into the 60s or higher. This March, we've had six already. Probably won't hit it tomorrow, but that's six times as many days in the 60s or above, including two days in the 70s. So already, we're off to a much sooner start to spring here in the Valley. And with spring weather, we also talk about this, our weather programming events. We have one next Wednesday, April 3rd, 4 to 7 at Kroger South. The weather team will be there to help you get those weather radios programmed. If you need to pick up one, we'll have some deals for you there as well. Temperature-wise today, 53 this morning. That's actually the average high this time of the year. 65, can you believe that? That's right, six times this month we had a high 60 or above. Not much rain so far today, but there is more rain that's on the way tonight and into the day tomorrow. Sunrise, sunset tomorrow, we're over 12 and a half hours of daylight. River Sage and Terre Haute will be going up with the rain right now it's about 10 and a half feet in Terre Haute right now look at this beautiful night 63 degrees winds are light southwest at about five so a nice evening to get out and about although there will be some rain moving in temperatures are nice and mild in the 60s everywhere except to the north and even up there it's average in the mid 50s on the water vapor satellite here's this moisture which will come in tonight the main storm you can see the spin right there that's the main storm that will come in during the day tomorrow so we'll see a wave of rain come in tonight and then the main system will come in tomorrow behind that drier weather by tomorrow evening. We're already starting to see some rain west of this area and on the Dorset Automotive Doppler Radar. You see that now, see here, in our western county, some rain moving in. So if you're going to be out this evening for any length of time, that rain will start moving in across the area, becoming more widespread as the night goes on, especially tomorrow morning. Here's around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Maybe a couple thunderstorms. We're not looking for severe weather. More rain will continue into the day tomorrow, but then it will taper off. Now, notice by 7, 38 o'clock, can't rule out, yeah, maybe a snowflake mix is in no big deal as it ends as some colder air moves in the temperatures will fall during the day tomorrow sunday will be a chilly day even with the sunshine but definitely the coldest day in the next week unfortunately it comes on sunday it looks like rainfall out of this we're still looking at probably an inch to an inch and a quarter on top of the little bit that we've gotten already so some decent rainfall still on the way the wind south now this will change to the north tomorrow so by 8 a.m see this already changing to the north and by tomorrow afternoon everybody goes to the north that'll allow the colder air to move in sunday we start to see the winds let up but still 10 to 15 and breezy so we're still talking some chill on Sunday. Forecast tonight. Rain showers redeveloping, but still very mild at 54. Tomorrow, rain showers will continue tapering off late 57, but that's misleading. Temperatures will fall. They'll be in the 40s in the afternoon. After that, it will be a chilly day on Sunday. Highs only around 40 and a breeze, but 51 Monday back to near 60 on Tuesday. Then we're going to be 60 or above on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. More rain chances in here later next week, but you get the idea. Other than this weekend, which will be chilly, we're still talking about some nice mild weather mm -hmm. headed for the valley. All right. You like, I like it. I like it, too. Well, get by these next couple days. get through the weekend, yeah. Then we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Your um, winter weather uh, report card, not bad. Not bad. I, I wasn't happy with it as years in the past, but, you know, I hold myself accountable. So He does. He, yep. he does a good job, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like our brackets. And, well, <laughs> well that's, that's another story. Well, uh, I heard the Sycamore baseball team doing a little, doing pretty